Welcome back to the Amazon Affiliate Marketing videos. Now, in this next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to quickly set up WordPress so that it's ready, you know, for your Amazon review site. So what I want you to do is you just installed WordPress, so you're going to need to go to the admin area. You're going to want to log in with your name and password that you just set up. Remember, we just did this. And we're going to log in. Okay, and right off the bat, I see that WordPress 3.3.2 is available. I do want to update this. I like to always stay as updated as possible. So we're in the back end of WordPress, and if we want to look at what our site looks like right now, you can see it's not very exciting. In fact, it's, it's downright ugly. But we're going to change all this around. And we can even use, there's nothing wrong with this theme that we're using right here. Um, but we do want to make it a little bit nicer. So the very first thing that I want you to do is go ahead, click on these settings right here. Make sure everything here looks all right. Okay. Um, for right now, what I want you to do is click on discussion. And I like to turn off. I don't want people to post comments on my articles or basically on my reviews. So I'll turn that off. Pretty much you can leave everything else on if you'd like. On this discussion, really the only thing that I'll turn off is I definitely want to turn off the comments. So I'll scroll down and click on Save Changes. Okay, and then the next thing that really concerns me are permalinks. Okay, I like to go with post name, which you can see is right there. That's the type. What that'll do is that'll make your, your post that you write very keyword friendly. So instead of being the default, which would be page one, two, three, or page one, or post one, when you write a new post, Instead, it's going to say post name. And what that means is if our first review is a DeWalt 370 review, that's going to actually be the name of the URL. So that's really important. Just put it on post name. Okay. You can also have categories if you want. I generally don't use categories and I don't really use tags that much. But we could use category base of cordless drills if we wanted to. Okay, or whatever your category is. All right, so if you're doing, you know, air fresheners, you might want to put a category base of air fresheners. And then we'll just go ahead and click on Save Changes. So now our permalink settings are updated. And you can see when I click on any of these, we'll rewrite. You can see, like, this sample page, instead of being named, you know, page one, now it says sample page. Same with same with the posts. This post you can see in the URL it says hello world. Whereas before it said like question mark P equals one, two, three or something along those lines. Okay. So go ahead, set up your permalinks, set up your discussion settings to off. Um, the other thing that I like to do is I like to go ahead and go into my appearance and do my widgets. All these main sidebar things, I just want you to drag them over. Just pull them out of there. And the reason that we want to do that is because we don't want this all clogged up with dumb information. Like we don't need site in main or log out or any of those things over here on the right hand side. So. We just want to drag those right out of there. Now, what I will have in that sidebar, okay, later on, I'll show you some things that we can put in there. But one thing that I do like to put up there are recent posts. And I'll write that as latest reviews, okay? And as we build our site, more and more of the reviews are going to show up on the right. So. If we just refresh this page here, you can see it says latest reviews. Hello world is in there right now. 
but just in a second we're going to get rid of those. Next thing I want you to do is go over to these pages. I want you to delete. I want you to send that sample page into the trash and then the same with posts. These sample pages, we don't need them. They're just taking up room. So now what you should have is you should have an absolutely empty empty site. There's really there's nothing found here yet. All we have here is the name up here and that's pretty much just it. We don't have any posts, we don't have any pages. And in the next video, what I'll do is I'll show you how to go ahead and add your reviews into your WordPress site. So I'll see you in the next video.